first see the introduction to mathematics. The ancient Indians, as I was actually telling you, they understood mathematics as the science of numbers. Okay, now they understood mathematics something like this: the basic digits, okay, are ten. They are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's it. These are the basic digits, zero to nine. Based on these digits, we can represent any number up to infinity. Yes. So they understood that there are only basically ten digits, and then mathematics deals with calculations of numbers. And when it actually comes to calculations, there are four operations, and they are additions, subtractions, multiplications, and divisions. And that's it. That's all about mathematics. Mathematics deals with the numbers and its calculations, right? So when it actually comes to calculations, all the calculations in mathematics are for two things. We understand this. Calculations are either for arithmetic or for algebra. We first understand what is arithmetic and what is algebra separately. Okay. Okay. We first deal with arithmetic. What exactly is arithmetic? Now, arithmetic is known as this. It's called known. to unknown now what is known to unknown now i was telling you that mathematics deals with numbers and its calculations and what is this known to unknown very simple understand this now known means some known value unknown is some unknown value something like this now i'm asking a question something like how much is 46 now you know what is 46 it's a known value okay plus something like 29 now you know what is 29 You know this value. We you know this value. But what is the value when you calculate these numbers? That we don't know. That we have to calculate. So this becomes a question mark. So this is called known to unknown. That is arithmetic. Or a, uh, or a question something like this. Something like five thousand two hundred and forty-one minus three thousand eight seventy-six. How much? This is also pointing towards arithmetic because you are calculating known value to known value. Or a question something like this: two hundred and forty-seven times three hundred and sixty-four. How much? You know this value. You know what is two forty-seven. You know what is three sixty-four. Both the values you know, but the answer is unknown. Or in division, some number like eight thousand two hundred and sixty-three divided by fifty-seven. How much? So that becomes known to unknown. So all this is arithmetic, calculating known values to Unknown values. Okay, now let's see what is algebra. Algebra is known as unknown to known. The arithmetic other way round. Okay, now what is unknown to known is I am asking you a question mark like this. What is that number when added to fifty nine will give you eighty three? Now see, this is an unknown number. You are trying to calculate that. So you know the answer. You know one one of the numbers in the question, but the Other number we don't know. So we are trying to calculate that. The same question in the terms of algebraic expression. It's written like this: x plus 59 is equal to 83. So generally in the ordinary method, what we do, we calculate that x is equal to 83 minus 59. So you get 24. So x is equal to 24. See that x also is a number. That was an unknown number. Got it? So algebra is trying to calculate unknown value to Known value. Okay. Now, since I was actually telling you that mathematics is all about numbers, so if you know mathematics like arithmetic, then we can understand like algebra and even higher concepts also very easily. So we'll first deal with some arithmetic.